Hello there. So you have a problem with your Sony TRV900. The mechanism works perfectly fine. You can open it and you can insert a cassette and the camcorder will record onto the cassette and everything appears to be fine. But when you then go into playback mode, you'll find out that nothing has been recorded onto the tape at all. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can hopefully fix that. First, we're going to need access into the cassette compartment, and to get the access that we need, we'll take apart this carrying strap. Then, we go ahead, take ourselves a screwdriver that fits the screws. We don't want to mess them up. We take out the two screws that hold this door in place, and don't lose the screws, because you will regret it. When we got the screws taken out, we can carefully remove the cassette door. The first thing that you do want to check is located down here. There is this little rubber roller, and you want to make sure that that is still in place and that it's not coming off. And as you can see, in my case, it is on there quite nicely. Because in some cases, the uh, plastic piece that holds it in place, which is up here, can uh, crack or even fall out. And in that case, the roller is going to be loose and you're going to end up with an error message on the camcorder. The first step in cleaning the mechanism is to clean all the tape guides, which are located up here in this row. And there is also another set of guides, which is uh, at the bottom. And uh, you can see it, there is a guide down there there is a guide down there. This is uh, this one down there is actually the capstan that uh, you do want to clean. It's right there. You do want to clean that because if dirt builds up on the capstan, the camcorder is going to start eating tapes in fast forward and rewind mode. For the cleaning of the tape guides, we're going to use just simple Q-tips. And I have my cleaner. You can use isopropyl alcohol, or you can use a dedicated video cleaner that I have right here. The important part when working with these spray cans, you never, never, ever want to spray anything out of these cans straight onto a part. Because if you do, the spray is going to be so cold that your part is going to be under massive stress by the sudden temperature change. So we're going to apply out of the spray can onto the q-tips and then we're going to carefully go through the mechanism and we're going to clean all the little guides that I pointed out to you already. Down in the camcorder you can see a silver cylinder. It's uh, that thing down there and uh, you do want to stay away from that. That is called the head drum and you don't want to get even close to that with your Q-tips because the fine hairs of the Q-tip can get caught up in the heads and you can end up ripping the heads out. And if you do that, repairing a head drum is impossible. It will have to be replaced and that is going to be very, very expensive. And after about five minutes of careful work with the Q-tips in the mechanism, your guides should all be nice and clean. You can also clean off the rubber part, the pinch roller. What you can do when you're cleaning is the capstan. You can carefully turn that manually. The capstan, once again, is the part down there. And that way you can clean it all around. The next part that needs to be cleaned is the head drum that you can see down there. What you do as kind of a first attempt is you use a cleaning tape, like the one that I have right here. The cleaning tape is in the camcorder and we're just going to press play. It's going to start playing it back. And we're just going to let it run for a few seconds. You don't want to let it run for all too long. And you definitely don't want to rewind it. So it is now time to reinsert our normal DV tape we're going to make another test recording. As it turns out, the cleaning cassette was not enough to bring the 
camcorder back into functional condition, it still won't record anything. So the head drum is probably so dirty that the cleaning cassette cannot do anything about it. So I'm going to move on to uh, some uh, more intensive cleaning. What we need for that is uh, just a piece of uh, regular writing paper, like uh, the one that I have right here. And what you do is you uh, rip off a piece of it, like so, and you fold it a little bit and make it a bit smaller. And then you go ahead and apply your uh, cleaning fluid to this. Get it nice and wet. You then go ahead and you put your strip of paper into the mechanism in between the guides and the drum. Drop it in there and you can just manage to get into there with your little finger. You put a little bit of pressure with your little finger onto the drum. And then you can go ahead and using your other hand, you can carefully turn the drum, turn it manually. And you do that a couple of times and then you take the paper back out. I have already done that once. And this is the paper. And what you can see if you look at the paper very closely is uh, some nice dirt up there. And before I inserted the paper, that was clean. So we already got a fair bit of dirt out of the uh, head drum that the cleaning tape was not able to remove. So I'm going to repeat that process some more times until the paper remains completely clean. I needed three pieces of paper to get the head drum perfectly clean. I also went through and cleaned all the guides for yet another time because, of course, I did touch some of those during the process. So it is now time for another test. We're now in the record mode. I'm just going to press record, do some uh, action in front of the camera lens. Let's uh, stop that and go into the VTR mode yet again. Rewind and play back. Let's see what happens. So, as you could clearly see, the TRV900 that previously would not record and would not play back and that could not even be helped by a cleaning cassette is now working perfectly again. So we can go ahead and reassemble our uh, cassette compartment by putting in the screws that we've previously taken out. So, there it is. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.